How do you do this? How do you play fast notes? Hi everyone, I'm Jayza, I play the piano. In this video, I wanna share with you one key concept that I think is the most important and most helpful to helping you to play fast notes. This concept that I'll share today is something that I see a lot of beginners tend to miss. They miss this mainly due to impatience. When you truly understand the power of this concept I'm about to share today, you are going to 5x your fast note learning progress. It's maybe even gonna make you feel a bit silly for not having done this before in the past. I certainly felt this way when I truly understood understood the power of it. Before we get into this key concept, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel to stay in touch with more of these free piano lessons and tutorials. So what is this key concept? The key concept of playing fast notes is slow practice. I've mentioned this concept various times in other videos, but from experience of observing my students and even observing myself practice, the slow practice is something that requires constant reminders. We live in the 21st century where we want to get everything so quickly without waiting. We're always looking for the hacks and the shortcuts and we never want to do the hard work. You may find yourself thinking, but slow practice is so boring and so unstimulating. I want to address this today because if you think slow practice is boring and unstimulating, you may be practicing slowly in a wrong way. I will teach you today what exactly to do during your slow practice to make it not only fun, but actually helpful for your progress. Guess how many notes I just played? 50, 60, 70? I just played 112 notes. Now that's a lot of notes to learn. If you want to truly master it, my suggestion for you is to hold off playing fast for as long as possible. When you're playing fast notes, there are two things to consider. Number one are the notes. So literally learning note for note, what are the correct notes, practicing them, making sure you don't play the wrong notes. And number two, this is something not a lot of people think about. I don't think even a lot of teachers talk about this, but this is something that's been a game changer for me to try to understand this and think about this all the time. And this number two thing is the connection points between each note. Connection points basically means how each note transitions to the next notes. So the how this goes to that, goes to this, goes to that, goes to this, goes to that. So not just the individual notes, so not just this note and that note, but how this notes then go to this note. This action, this is called the connection point. When you're starting to learn a part that's supposed to be fast, my suggestion is to practice really, really slowly and try to really understand these two things. So I think obviously everyone understands that the notes are very important, but also try to understand the connection points as well. Okay, so for example. This particular part. This is a part that I think a lot of students make mistakes because the connection point between them is really awkward because the hands are dum 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 the hands are changing position. When you're practicing fast, a lot of things are happening faster than your brain can comprehend. And it's not easy to assess which are the parts that are weak that actually need more attention. So I suggest you to practice slowly so you can actually see what's going on and work on those weaker connection points. Another great reason for practicing slowly is not just for learning the piece, but it's actually really essential for maintaining the piece within your hands in your muscle memory. Let me explain. When you keep practicing your fast notes in a fast way, you will start to get into something I call autopilot mode. Autopilot mode means you are playing notes without any conscious thought. So for example, what I just did there, I wasn't actually thinking about each and every single note. It was just muscle memory and it and me pulling out this thing that my fingers somehow remember how to do. It's quite a strange feeling. It feels almost like your individual fingers, they have their mini brains and they know exactly where to go. Now it's really good if you can ever practice a piece so well that your fingers can get to that point of being on autopilot mode. But for those of you who have played piano for a while, you will know that this autopilot mode 
node security eventually goes away over time. There will come a point where you will start to lose the notes. So something like this. And, and, and you're sort of not sure what's happening. You're going, oh, I, I used to be able to do this, but I, I've lost it. This is where problems really start to show if you haven't practiced slowly enough times. There were two things we talked about earlier in this video, which are the notes and the connection points. When you always practice fast and you go on this autopilot mode, it means you haven't thought about the notes and the connection points for a while. So when that day comes, when you unfortunately lose those notes, it's really hard to recover and be able to play those notes again because it's like you've lost the foundation of, of that part. It's like your building did not have a solid foundation, which is the slow practice and the slow detailed analysis of the notes and the connection points. If you ever find yourself in this position, this is where you really want to go back to the slow practice to build that foundation for your building. Okay, to really understand, oh, it's this one, this one. really understand how each note transitions to the next and how that transitions then to the next and how that then transitions to the next and so on and so forth. One tip I have for you when you're practicing slowly is to use a metronome. I often find myself doing something like this. It's sort of this funny thing where I catch myself going, whoa, I, I was supposed to be practicing slowly. How did I get this quick? These days I'm using a metronome watch. It's a vibration beat that happens on my wrist. Check out this video if you want to learn more. When I was beginning to learn piano, I was very impatient and I always loved practicing fast. I thought that practicing slow was a waste of time. If I was going to perform the pieces in a fast tempo, why would I want to practice them slowly? But over time, I've reflected that practicing fast isn't really practicing. Practicing fast is more just displaying how secure my autopilot is. And the much more effective thing to do during my practice sessions was to actually slow it down to understand again, those two things. So the notes and the connection points. I find that if I used that 10 minutes to practice slowly, I get a much better return on investment than if I practiced fast for that 10 minutes. I personally haven't even played this piece for a while. And before shooting this video, that's exactly what I did. I took 10 minutes to look at this part again and understand each note and each connection point before I shot this video. These days in my practice sessions, I usually do about 75% slow and 25% fast. So that means in 60 minutes, 75% is about 45 minutes. So that means a big chunk of the practice is actually dedicated to analyzing notes and connection points rather than just, you know, slashing out a million notes and not really thinking about anything consciously. Question of the day, what is your experience like with slow practice? Let me know in the comments below. We've now come to the end. Make sure you give this video a like if it has helped you. Happy practicing and I'll catch you in the next video.